Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. Joining me at NASDAQ Studios remotely in Singapore, we have Johan Toll. He's the head of digital assets with our market tech group over at NASDAQ. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks, today. Good to be here. And uh, so let's talk about a project that we're working on called Ubin. Yes. So the project Ubin is a collaboration project in Singapore to see how the DLT technology and the blockchain technology can be used within the Singapore region and how the markets can be more efficiently managed and, and uh, run. And it's a collaboration project operated by the MIS here in Singapore and SDX and also the Association of Banks in Singapore. Mm -hmm. so it's a very interesting project to see how, how could we revolutionize, how could we change and evolve the markets that we see. I think it also can get very interesting spin-off effects globally uh, for our various markets. Well, we do a lot of work with SGX. What is our role with this particular project? So here, with, from the NASA perspective, we are working as a technology partner to deliver a solution, a proof of concept solution, to the project Ubin in phase three, mm -hmm. where we're looking to see how could we settle assets between different blockchains. If you imagine, you have, we can see multiple blockchains coming up now in the industry. One blockchain might be running with the money, another blockchain might be running with the securities. So what we developed now was a solution that we can securely settle the money transfer on one blockchain according to a security transfer on the other blockchain. And we do that through smart contract logic and can then connect the two different blockchains with one another in an efficient way. So what is the most important part of the um, point of concept from your perspective? So I think the most important part is how we can now successfully connect the two different blockchains with one another. And we are, thanks to the Nasdaq Financial Framework, we are agnostic to the underlying technologies. We can work on Hyperledger, Cord, Ethereum, or Chain, or any other blockchains. And then we create a smart contract layer, which is more or less the crucial point here, that we use hash lock techniques to secure the lockup of assets on the two different blockchains. Right. And then we can release the contracts and unlock the contracts once the secret is revealed. So we can secure, secure then the atomic settlement of assets even though they reside on the two different blockchains. So what's, what's the end goal here? How does it make it efficient between the multiple parties that are working with these different blockchains? What are they looking to achieve? So we're looking to achieve more efficient settlement and reduce a lot of risk. That is kind of, today it takes up to three days to settle contracts in the government bonds market, for example. So with this technique, we could settle immediately. And also we see here how the Singapore region and the MIS is working hard to see how we could put the Singapore dollars on the blockchain. SDX is looking to see how could they put securities and tokens on the on a blockchain network. And then by using this technique now, we can guarantee and make the, the transactions much faster and secure. And what we also do here is we introduce an arbitrator role so that if something goes wrong, if there is a dispute going on between the buyer and seller, we can call up and we can have an arbitrator interact here and resolve any issues so that ultimately if I have a complaint, I can call the arbitrator and, and make sure that they resolve the situation. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for joining me throughout the Sint uh, Singapore FinTech Festival. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.